You know, folks, when I did a little bit of a text and talked about it uh, briefly here in the video, in a video, in about an eight-minute video, I'm sure a lot of people want to know how in the world, how in the world does Amy Rose, this is right there, how does Amy Rose being roboticized balance out Sally's roboticization? Or it's going to say something along those lines. People, people want to know that. People want to, want, want that, want to answer that question. They want, they want answers to that question, if you know what I mean. They want answers to that question, if you know what I mean. And it's like I said in the text and in the video, in a strange sort of way, it does balance out. And let me explain, because I should have probably better explained myself. Now, I know a lot of people will look at this like, you've got to be kidding me kind of deal. But hear me out. Basically, the reason this is happening, well, not ha happening, but the reason I say it could be balancing it out in a strange way, is due to the fact that, you know, there are those, including myself, that don't like what's happened with Sally, but unlike, but unlike some that don't like what's happened to her, there are people like me that understand why it happened and in our own kind of way accept it because we know eventually she's going to be restored. But here's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the strange sort of balancing out. The balancing out that I'm talking about in a strange sort of way is for those that have always thought the reason for Sally's robotization and mechanization, if you will, and this whole arc, in a, in a sense, was nothing more in their minds, in a sense, than to try to pair off Sonic and Amy. Th that, that was the whole situation there. To pair off those two, or put the spotlight on Amy, from their perspective. Now, you might say, now you might say, well, that really doesn't make sense. But in a strange sort of way, it does. Because when you think about it, when you think about it, folks, folks, if Amy is being roboticized in this arc along with Shadow and Knuckles, it does make sense because what it does is it, for those that, like I said, pretty much feel that Sally being roboticized, mechanized for this arc and all that, including the crossover, you know, is nothing more than just a way of getting Amy Rose in the spotlight. For them, for them, it's a bit of a satisfaction because they'll be like, okay, Amy Rose, the person that Ian Flynn's putting the spotlight on, the person that Sega wants Archie to put the spotlight on, on as an opposite to Sonic, she's getting roboticized. Oh, justice is served. Basically, basically, they will feel that at least the Amy fans out there will now know how they feel. And it sort of, in a strange way, balances things out. Even though her roboticization, if indeed it does happen in the sense that we think it's going to happen, is, in a sense, in their mind, if Amy does get roboticized in the crossover, which it looks like she does, in a sense, balances things out for them because they'll like, like I said, they'll be like, you know, because in their minds, the fans of Amy Rose will be like, feel, will kind of feel how they felt. Even though, like I said, it's, it's only not going to last as long as Sally's has. And I know, I know a lot of you look at that and you say, this, that's got to be the dumbest reason, right? It's not literally, it's not literally the dumbest reason. It's the strangest reason and it's in a strange sense it, in a strange way, it does make a lot of sense. You know, again, like me, I can understand why they did what they did with Sally. I understand that. I can understand why they're probably doing what they're going to do with Amy and, and, and Knuckles and, and Shadow, which really surprises me. And I'll probably do something on that later on. 
But the point is, folks, the point is, you know, what you have to understand is that when you look at it from the perspective of those that are Sally fans, that feel that this has been nothing more than just a glorified way to put Amy in the spotlight and potentially tease her and Sonic being together, to them it's sort of a satisfactory situation, sort of a satisfactory by satisfactory kind of situation because at least in their minds the Amy fans who are behind Amy and behind her trying to be with Sonic will kind of understand how they feel because even though it might be for just a few issues maybe an issue or two or three you know whatever at least they will know how they feel about the situation and that's why, in my personal opinion, why I've said in a strange sort of, I've talked about in a strange sort of way, that, you know, it balances things out in a strange sort of way. It balances things out in a strange sort of way. You may not agree with it, and that's perfectly fine, but you have to kind of look at it from the perspective of those that supported one character and feel that this is nothing more than a way of glorifying another. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, okay, let's say you're a fan of Wonder Woman, and all of a sudden Wonder Woman got turned into a machine. And the opposite of Wonder Woman is Power Girl. And you've always been a fan of Wonder Woman Clark Kent, or Wonder Woman Superman shipping, but you also had a fan base that was supporting of Power Girl Superman shipping. As crazy as that sounds. Anyway, anyway, what I'm trying to say is fans of Wonder Woman wouldn't be happy about the fact that she was turned into a robot while Power Girl was put into the spotlight with with Superman. But then again, but then again, if something similar happened to Power Girl down the line, it would kind of balance things out. Even if, even, even if it didn't last as long. Now I know, like I said, now I understand some of you are going to watch this and you're going to say, that is stupid, there's no sensible reason for that, or it doesn't make sense at all. But again, you got to look at it from the perspective of those that support one character and have a dislike for another, especially if they feel, well, don't totally have a dislike for another, but more importantly feel that the reason one character's situation happened is to spotlight another character, you kind of have to see it from their perspective and vice versa. So, hopefully that explains why, in a strange sense, I feel it balances things out. So, comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you all later.